This is the bomb. Infrared sauna versus Finnish sauna. Which is better? What does the literature say? I have a study to tell you about. While we're in the sauna, Clinical Review looked at 40 past studies and looked at the associated findings of Finnish sauna versus IR sauna and the associated health outcomes. Very comprehensive, by the way. Time duration, five to 20 minutes is generally the period of time that's most often studied. Infrared saunas, like the one I'm in, tend to use slightly lower temperatures. Traditional Finnish saunas tend to be slightly hotter, but guess what? They both pack a punch when it comes to the associated positive health outcomes. What I found really interesting in this study, it really honed in on the pathophysiology, physiology, and mechanism of action of how sauna use or sauna bathing produces these health outcomes. Ways that it does this, it increases the level of heat shock proteins and their functioning. These are beneficial molecules in our body. Increases insulin sensitivity, reduces something called reactive oxygen species, which are really the key players in oxidative stress and oxidative damage. Increases something called nitric oxide synthesis. That's really important in dilating the endothelium of every blood vessel in our body. It also reduces inflammatory mediators and it makes you sweat. It found very low risk, even for people with a diagnosed cardiovascular condition, although obviously you want to speak to your provider beforehand. Associated reduction in every bad endpoint that we're trying to avoid. A real boost in the good ones. A big reduction of all-cause mortality. I'm really dripping. Bottom line, low risk, high benefit. The data backs it up. If you have the opportunity to use a sauna once or regularly, take it.